Hello everyone, welcome to sisadismuch.com. This is Aditya and today we will discuss, you know, how to get free CPRs. So we all know that, you know, uh, whenever you, 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 you have cleared your CISA exam, you have applied for a certification and this is applicable, like, you know, the CP requirement is applicable for the, for the people who are certified, right? So every year, like, you know, uh, the, the requirement is like this, you know, there is annual minimum requirement like every year and when, when I say annual, it means a calendar year that is 1st of Jan till 31st of December every calendar year. Okay. And a three year minimum requirement. And uh, one more thing, you know, let's say you, you clear the exam in the year 2023. So your CPR's requirements will start from 2024 year onwards and it will go for three period, like, like three years uh, uh, cycle is there. 2024, 2025, 2026, like that. So let's say if you have cleared the exam last year in 2022, you will have to show annual minimum requirement for the year 2023. Okay, so there are two requirements, annual uh, requirement, minimum requirement and three years minimum requirement. So annual minimum requirement is 20 CPR. So every year there is a minimum hours you need to, you know, show. And for the period of three, three years of cycle, you'll have to show 120 CPRs. So let's say if I show 20 hours for this year, I'll have to show maybe like 60 hours for the next year, okay? So that, you know, uh, on an average, so basically, uh, Isaka recommends 40, 40, 40, ideally. So every year you must ideally get 40 hours, but minimum is 20 hours, okay? And any down, uh, like any sh shortfall, you'll have to fulfill in the next year. So the overall requirement is 120 CP hours in a span of three year cycle. Okay, and the cycle starts from the next year from the year in which you have cleared the like you have got the like you have cleared the exam and you have got the certification. So let's say if I if, if I'm certified uh, uh, this year, I'll have to start from next year onwards, right? So that's the thing. Okay, now how do we get these free CPRs? So you know, <clears throat> Isaka, like you know, you'll be surprised to know this, and very few people know this. Once you log into the isaka.org, okay, you just need to go, uh, I mean, you just have to search here, like free CP, just these two words, free CP, right? And uh, you just have to search this and, you know, you will get lots of results. And then you need to go to this thing, free CPE. Let me click free CPE. Can you see this thing? you get 72 free CPE credit hours. And, you know, Isaka has mentioned this. No, that's not a typo. With an Isaka membership, you can earn 72 plus free CPEs every year. And how do we use these credit hours, right? So now, so, you know, whenever they are offering you free CPE, they will, you know, uh, highlight this. Like, in, 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 you can see this free CPE for members, free CPE for members. So whenever they have, they are offering free CP, they will highlight like, you know, free CP. So they have a lot of options. Like, you know, uh, you can be a volunteer, you can submit an article, you can submit a question, you can write exam questions. There are, there are lots of ways through which you can get the CP. But the most easiest way to get CP hours, free CP is to solve quiz. So if you go here and if you click on the CP quiz, you know, uh, you know, uh, you will see a lot of quiz in front of you, right? So uh, you get unlimited attempts to, you know, solve these quiz and these quiz, I think one quiz contains uh, approximately 12 to 15 questions, right? So you just, you, you need to uh, answer 80% right. And let's say if you score less than that, you get, a, get an option to re-attempt that particular test, right? So with one test, you get one CP free, right? So there are lots of uh, quiz over here. The other way through which you can get free CPE is... You know, uh, like just, uh, you know, uh, beside this CP quiz, there is archive webinars, right? So these are the webinars already recorded in the past. So what you're supposed to do is as a member, you're getting free, uh, you know, uh, access to these these webinars as well as free CPRs. So you just need to scroll down. And, you know, again, as I've told you, like, you know, for this particular uh, uh, event, for this particular webinar, you're not going to get any free CP because there is no mentioned 
free CPE, right? But here in the in the, in the second uh, link, you can see they have mentioned free CPE. So it means you will be getting free CPE for the, for this for this thing. Second, third, for the fourth, no, you are not you are not getting free CPE. But for the fifth part, yes, the uh, three forward thinking practices to manage IT risk you get free cp right so whichever you want to select like it's everything is free right you just have to click here and you need to register for this thing like you need to register for this event it is like you know once you register you will get a link in your registered email id and you can just go and you can just watch that webinar for one hour and with every one hour you're getting one free cpr right so this is how you can utilize uh you know these free resources the the free uh what is the benefits which Isaka is providing to their members and through which you can get you can fulfill your CPR's requirement. Thank you so much.